What's going on guys, it's AO Oz. I'm going to give you guys 10 quick beginner tips that everyone should know when you start playing New World. This is going to make your life 10 times easier. I wish I knew these things when I started. So I'm going to go ahead, pay it forward, and let you guys know so you don't have to go through what I struggled with. Okay, so number one, you know that shield that you start with? Okay, so it's completely unnecessary if you decide to use other types of weapons. Not even that, but it also takes up space. You'll notice that I'm at medium weight. Take it off. Now I'm in light. It just takes up weight, get rid of it if you're not using it, you're doing yourself a favor. For tip number two, if you go to your faction vendor, you can buy these seals. They're only 100 tokens, and with these seals, you can change the attributes for the faction armor that you purchase. So if you see a light armor that has intelligence, go ahead buy your dexterity or strength seal, take it over to the threading station. It's going to cost you some azoth, but just like that, you can change the attributes for your faction gear and make it more suitable for your build. Moving on to number 3, as soon as you get into the game, learn how to animation cancel your rolls. It's actually really easy, so normally when you roll, you have that little pause. You're left really vulnerable. If you want it to be smooth, all you have to do, you roll and you weapon swap. Roll, weapon swap, roll, weapon swap. If you don't have a second weapon yet, you can roll, sheath, and unsheath. So for me it's X, roll, sheath, roll, unsheath. Roll, sheath. That's how you animation cancel. You're gonna use that a lot, especially if you're a mobile fighter. But yes, it makes your movement 10 times more fluid. It's so much smoother, trust me. You're gonna wanna learn that. Number four, you're gonna wanna understand the weight levels and its pros and cons. Honestly, this little screenshot right here just explains it perfectly. It's really concise, really brief. Go ahead, take a pause, read and understand what's going on. That's all you need. Based on the way you wanna build yourself, each level has its pros and cons. I feel like I'm most advantageous wearing light armor, so I stick with light armor. You make the best decision for yourself, and keep in mind, you could mix and match light and medium or light and heavy, and these are the thresholds. Once I go above 13, medium. Once I go above 23, I'll be heavy. Moving on, number five, this normal potion, this rejuvenation potion, and this food. All three of them, they have separate cooldowns. So when you're fighting, whether it's PvE or PvP, Make sure you have three different ones on deck so you always have a constant supply of heals. Number six, let's talk about the benefits of flagging for PvP. So as soon as you join one of the factions, you have the choice to flag for PvP on and off, which means you can freely go around and PvP in the open world. Here's why you wouldn't want to do it. You don't want to die, you're not comfortable PvPing, you want a PvE experience, no problem, nothing wrong with that. But I would highly encourage you to turn it on just take a chance at playing PvP. You can start out PvE just to get comfortable with the game and its mechanics, but once you get a little bit comfortable, start doing some PvP, because I think the rewards that you get for PvP highly outweigh the disadvantages. Like yes, you'll become a better fighter, but the real meat of flagging for PvP is that when you defeat players, the weapon XP that you get is disgusting. It's the fastest way to level up your weapons, and then you can get your skill points a lot faster than if you're just fighting normal mobs. The way it works is that killing a player that has been alive for longer than an hour will reward you four times the normal XP. And then if they've been alive even longer than that, so the longer a player's been alive, the higher the amount of XP that you'll get for defeating them. On top of that, I believe you get five to 10% more global XP. Number seven, you've got this whole map to explore. Anytime you see these question marks, go ahead and visit them. You're gonna get free XP just for going there. And anytime you see something that you can read, go ahead and read it, because the first time you read anything, you're gonna get free XP. So explore, look around, you're gonna find there's some overworld dungeons, there's overworld bosses, there's good loot to be found. And who knows, if you have PvP turned on, you could square up with some random people at the most random places. And it's one of the best parts about this game. Moving on to number eight, go ahead and try to collect as many materials as you can. If you find that you can skin or harvest, pick anything on your way to town, go ahead and do it. You can always store things. You're going to want them for crafting because you never know what you're going to want to craft. And you'll soon find out that crafting in this game plays a huge role. Not only to craft food, craft potions, craft weapons, it'll only be to your benefit. And there isn't a single station that they have in town that's wasted. They make the crafting menu really easy and simple to understand. That's why I really like this as an entry level MMO. You literally just pick the item, it tells you what you need, and then there's also like substitutes. And then if you don't have the item, uncheck this and it tells you what you need. Out of any of these, just pick one if you have it. You know, I don't have any, but I only have this. But it tells you exactly what you need and whether you can or can't 
craft it. It's really simple. So get comfortable with the idea of crafting. And then for number nine, I want to open up the idea of PVE group quest sharing. Something that I recently found out just today. I had a quest that I had to slay like 12 zombies in a particular area. And I was in a group with my friend who was not on that same quest, but we were in the same group. And I found out that when he beat a zombie that I haven't even looked at yet, I still got credit. So because he was a higher level than me, it was a lot easier for him to slay all the zombies. So he destroyed all the zombies for me. It basically just speeds up the process for any of the slaying quests that you have to go through. So if you have a friend who's, he can help you out. It doesn't have to be on the same quest, just put him in the same group and he can help you progress easily. And then finally, number 10, I found that the faction gear tends to be the strongest gear for its level requirement. So if you're level 15 looking for the best gear for a level 15, go to the faction vendor and grind out the quest, grind some tokens, because the gear that you get from that vendor, overall, just in general, it's gonna be better than what you find anywhere laying around. It's very rare for me to find something better than what the faction vendor is offering. So yeah, that's gonna be 10 quick beginner tips that everyone should know. Once again, I wish I knew these when I started, and I hope you learned at least one thing from this video. If not, go ahead, leave a dislike. I'll accept it. I'll do better next time. Otherwise, if you learned something, like the video, it would really help me out a lot. If you love the video, maybe think about subscribing because I'm going to be posting more New World content as the days go on. I'm going to be mainly focused on PvPing, so PvPing tips and tricks and any knowledge that I can build there, I'm going to do my best to share with you guys. Maybe some gameplay here and there, but that's going to be it for me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.